On the way back home, Lisa was delighted to see Emma in this new and fascinating light as she scrolled through the positive comments Emma's fan base were pouring on her. <laughs> oh, Amber's face right now. She must be fuming from the flames her career just went up in. There is no time for all this. Are we up for phase two of our master plan? Oh, yes. It's going to be amazing. Meanwhile, scrolling through the wrath of comments was Amber. Global is such a ridiculous agency. That boss must be a total idiot. Even a kid could do a better job than Global. Great work, Emma. You deserve better. As Lisa said, Amber was furious. Sitting at the Global HQ, she could not believe Emma had the nerve to do something that audacious at a live event and risk her career. For someone who was supposed to be meek, how could Emma be so clear to not be involved with an unreliable product? At the top of that, Emma also went a step ahead to announce her comeback in such a high-profile way. Amber had started to hate this new and uncontrollable side of Emma. If I went down, Emma, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> Just then, Nathan entered his office. He was visibly restless and shaken as he threw his jacket and walked back and forth blankly in sheer frustration with Emma, which was now at an all-time high. I can't believe she threw all of the blame on us. Nathan, put out a statement right now. Tell everyone Global had nothing to do with this madness. Nathan was furious, but he knew Amber was right. Emma did what she had to do to stain the reputation, and it was time to take action. He immediately gathered his PR team to reiterate the statement that said Emma wasn't forced to appear at the event. Emma lied to the public, and Global would penalize her for defamation of the company's image. But Nathan was still not done. He arranged for global reps of every hierarchy to give out statements to the media. Emma, there's nothing to say but the fact that she betrayed us. Global is innocent. She has lied yet again. I can't believe someone could stoop so low to advance in their career. Nathan thought it was the perfect ploy, but all he did was to completely underestimate Emma yet again. With her popularity at an all-time high, Emma released evidence that included recordings of Global blocking Emma from receiving offers. Global's reputation had stooped so low, but that wasn't it. The surprising aspect of these recordings were the commands were not given by Nathan. It was Amber. Oh my god, Nathan is finished. Oh Global, you are a disgraceful agency, horrible staff, terrible company. Goodbye, Global Entertainment. Amber, Nathan, and Global went down by the minute. Companies canceled their contract with Global. Not just Amber, but all the other models' contracts were held. Nathan was watching his company and reputation going down in front of him, and he picked up the phone for one last resort. Do you want to see me die, Emma? Apparently that's what's left. Talk to my lawyer. He is on his way already. I am finished, Emma. My reputation, company, and all the money, just gone. This is nothing compared to what you and Amber did to me. Talking of which, I am ready to lay you off. Show some mercy on one condition. You can't do this. Release Amber from her contract with Global. Let me tell you one thing, Emma. I am going to fight you tooth and nail. I'd like to see you try. Emma hung up the phone immediately. She was confident and ready to take Nathan head on. Meanwhile, Nathan was in his biggest crisis yet. His hatred for Emma had consumed him entirely. Global's board of directors called in a meeting, and Nathan just didn't know what to do. He called in his older sister Mia in Mexico. You didn't keep things hidden, Nathan. Gave Emma solid proof. But you need to figure a way out, a way forward. What exactly should I do? You are still the boss, and you need to show that to Emma and the world. Release a public apology and support Emma and her career from now on. But Amber won't like it. Don't worry, I will get to Amber. Mia arranged a photo shoot with a secret magazine and considered Emma and Amber to shoot together. Mia wanted to make the relationship look good and get the people talking. Her plan was to use Emma's popularity to boost Amber's chances at the Model Awards. You see what I did there, Nathan? A crisis can be an opportunity if you know how to use the publicity to your advantage. Thank you, Mia. You took things too far with Emma. Her reaction is understandable, but focus on Emma and Amber to share the stage together. We have a baby on the way. Amber can't take that stress right now. You have to do this for Global. By the way, Margo is ready for the transplant. Nathan gasped in fear. Amongst the chaos, Nathan had completely forgotten about their younger sister, Margot, who was in the hospital in need of a kidney transplant. And the only one who was compatible as a donor was Emma. No matter what happens between us, 
I swear to not let Emma go back on her promise to save Margo. Later at the board meeting, Nathan released a statement apologizing on Global's behalf for ill treatment of Emma and promised to make amends. He also made the big announcement of Emma and Amber's first photo shoot together, and just as Mia predicted, the public's attention changed from one of controversy to the other in an instant. Fans from both sides started arguing online. Meanwhile, as soon as Ashley heard the announcement, Are you going to do it, Emma? If you want, I will find a way out of it. I will do it. Emma knew it would look petty for her to not accept Nathan's apology in public. She was impressed with Ashley's professionalism as she continued to cook in her kitchen. She was too eager to cook for her husband, Eric. Meanwhile, on his way back, Eric couldn't stop gushing at the praises of his wife online. She is kind of amazing, isn't she, sir? She is indeed. And I want to congratulate her. Stop by for roses, please. The red ones. As Eric arrived back home, he sneaked up to Emma from behind and lifted her off her feet, setting her down on the kitchen counter. I told you not to cook. You know what are the consequences of not listening to me? <laughs> what are you gonna do, eat me? You are so fearless. Eric picked her up and carried her into the living room, placing gently on the sofa. Today was such a big day for you, so let me cook you dinner tonight. Emma couldn't take her eyes off of him as she saw her man handling the ingredients just like everything else in his life, quickly and efficiently. As she went into her bedroom, her heart started fluttering when she saw the red roses on the bed. Does he want to make love tonight? What is Eric planning? Will Emma and Eric finally make love? Is Amber and Emma's photo shoot work for either of them? Will Emma consider donating her kidney to Nathan's younger sister? Don't let your excitement die! The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.